Measure. Measuring and drawing lines with a ruler. What is it? Process of finding the number that shows the amount of something. Why? Can identify the correct amount of a medicine for a patient. Interesting fact. Crabs are decapods from the crustacean family. Decapod means 10-footed. Deca is the 10, pod is the footed. And crabs have 10 legs. However, the first pair are its claws, which are called keely. So let's go ahead and take a look at the steps on how to measure something with a ruler. Step one, grab a ruler. Step two, put the zero on one side. Step three, count. So let's go ahead and read the question to make sure we know, we know what to do. Measure the line to the nearest centimeter. So as you can see, the ruler on the screen is blown up and has numbers under each tick mark. Now in real life, the, the ruler will be smaller and those numbers will not be there. Okay, so we're going to do two examples with the numbers there so, we, so you know what to do and how to count. And then we'll take away the numbers so uh, you know what to do when they're not there. So let's go ahead and move the, the line to the ruler. Usually in real life, we're going to move the ruler to the line, but it's easier to move the line to the ruler since we're on a computer. Now let's go ahead and pick a number to start counting. Okay, which number do you pick? Well, you usually want to pick something that is uh, with the number that is already written there or halfway between two numbers. So we're going to pick halfway between 1 and 2, which is 1.5, and we're going to go ahead and start counting. 1.6, 1.7, and 1.8 is your final answer. So when you're using a, a ruler with centimeters, you're counting by 0 0.1. Okay, so let's take a look at example 2. Let's read the question. Measure the line to the nearest millimeter. So this time we're, we're doing the same thing, but we're doing it with millimeters, and as you can see, when we count with millimeters, we're counting by one. So let's go ahead and move the line to the ruler. Let's pick a, uh, a tick mark that has a number on it. In this case, 20. We're going to work our way up. 21, 22, 23, and 23 millimeters is your answer. And once again, this is not to scale. So let's go ahead, take a look at example three. Let's read the question to make sure we are doing it correctly. Measure the line to the nearest centimeter. Ah, oh, we're doing with centimeters, okay? So let's move the ruler to the line. Okay, now let's go ahead and blow it up so it's easier to count. So let's go ahead and pick a tick mark that has a value on it so that we can know where, uh, where to start counting. So we're, let's pick 5.5, and since it's centimeters, we're counting by 0 0.1. So the next one is going to be 5.6 centimeters. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and uh, Measure that in millimeters. You can use that with your other side of the ruler if there is one, or you can realize that you can just multiply the centimeter by 10 because one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. So in this case, my answer is 56 millimeters. Now let's take a look at example four. We're gonna measure this line to the nearest centimeter once again. So we're gonna put the ruler next to the line blow it up so it's easier to count. We're going to go ahead and pick 3.5 because it has the number written down. Now if it's not written on the ruler, that's okay. You should, uh, you should know that th between 3 and 4 is 3.5. And if you do that, then, you, then counting will be easier. So 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, and 3.8 is your answer. Now we're going to go ahead and convert that to millimeters. So you can either uh, use the rule or just go ahead and, and, and or move the decimal to the right one space or multiply by 10. So in this case 3.8 centimeters is 38 millimeters. Take a look at example 5. Let's read the question to make sure we are doing it correctly. Measure the line to the nearest millimeter. So let's bring up the ruler to the line. Let's blow it up so it's easier to count. And then once again if 45 isn't written there we well, halfway between 40 and 50 is 45. So then you can go ahead and, and, and do that mentally in your head. So let's go ahead and start counting at 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49. So the length of that line to, to the nearest millimeter was 49 millimeters. Now, what happens if we want to convert that to centimeters? Well, if, it's the, if centimeters and millimeters are on the same line, then all we have to do is move the decimal over one place to the left, or divide by 10. So my answer is going to be 4.9 centimeters.
Let's take a look at the last example. We're, let's read the question. We're still with millimeters. Okay, so now we're going to move the, the, the ruler to the line. Let's blow it up. Okay, then let's go ahead and start counting at 50 because that's the closest line with the number next to the end of the, of the line. And let's go ahead and start counting up. 51, 52. So the answer to this one is 52 millimeters. Now what happens if it asks for centimeters? No worries. You can either count in centimeters if you have that ruler, or you can just go ahead and divide by 10 and you get 5.2 centimeters. Okay, so now it is your turn. So go ahead and pause the video so you can answer these questions on your own time. And I'll show the answers in three, two, and one. Here you have it. If you got it correct, great. If you didn't, there is always tomorrow.